everyone, welcome back to the channel. I have been missing for a week. I have been working my butt off at my regular job. I'm also working at the Christmas store. I'm having a really, really good year for my sales. So I've just been really cranking out material to put into the store and just, you know, doing my regular work. So, uh, but I'm back. So I do apologize for being gone. So anyways, I am doing something special today. I'm going to do one of those um, transfer swipes but I'm gonna spin it out and I'm spinning a very large canvas. I'm spinning a 24 by 30 canvas. So hopefully this doesn't make too much of a mess. <laughs> um, the first time I've ever spun something this big. So let's get down on the canvas, we'll get started. I'll be right back. All right guys, so what I've got is a 24 by 30. This is gonna be the biggest canvas I've ever spun on, like I said. Uh, real quick, I'll run through these colors. So today I'm using Creative Inspirations in the Viridian. Now this is a little bit darker coming straight from the uh, tube. So when I added my um, Floatrol, it does lighten up just a little bit, but I like the lighter version versus the dark compared to the other colors. The next color I'm gonna use is the yellowish green from Amsterdam. Uh, Pebio Studio Acrylics of iridescent silver mixed in with a little bit of Amsterdam silver. Artist Loft in metallic cobalt blue. And then I'm using Artist Loft in the soft body black. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna layer a cup and I'm gonna do a wandering ring pour onto this old canvas. Then I'm gonna swipe it with my uh, cell activator, which is my Australian Floatrol and Titanium White. And once that sells up and gets the lacing, I'm gonna take my huge King Arthur uh, bread knife here, and I'm gonna scoop this bad boy up, and I'm gonna lay it out through here, and then tilt it and spin it. So let's get to layering our cup. All right, I'm gonna start with some black. Metallic cobalt blue. Silver. Greenish yellow. And the viridian. I'll just do two layers of this. All right, now I'm not gonna put down a base coat because I'm gonna be putting a base coat down over on the canvas. So I'm gonna do a wandering ring pour, keeping it very central, not spreading it out too far. Good. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my cell activator on the back of my palette knife. I'm gonna swipe right up through the center and let that cell up. And then while that's doing that, I'm gonna head back over to the canvas here and I'm gonna put down my base coat. While that's selling up, let's put down the base coat here. All right, 
Got a beautiful, beautiful piece here. Now I'm just gonna scoop it all up. And I'm slowly scooping because I don't wanna try to let it, anything get distorted as much as possible. I'm just gonna lay it out flat here. making a wave pattern. And then I'm taking my spatula. I'm going to grab what I can off of there. Grab the rest. All right, now I will speed you guys up. I'm gonna do the exact same thing probably about three or four more times. I'm gonna keep laying out more color. All right, I've already layered a third cup. I'm gonna go ahead and do my last pour. So this last pour, so it's really heavy down here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start it right around here and kind of even it out, make it a little wider this way. A lot of it's gonna get tilted off. But then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tilt the canvas back and forth a little bit. And then I'm gonna put it on a spinner and then I'm gonna spin it. I'm, like I said, I've never spin, uh, spun a uh, canvas this large before. So this should be very interesting. Thank you. 
We'll give it a little bit of a torch. All right, now the moment of truth. Give it a spin. Make sure I'm not hitting anything. All right. Gonna give it a harder spin this time. That's better. Now it's opening up up here. Go one more time the other way. All right, guys, here we are with the wet result. Really cool. I love how abstract this is. I love the different pattern of lines going through there. Great lacing as well. Let me show you. Starting up here in the top left.
All right, I'm hoping this is gonna be dry. We'll see. All right, here we are with the dried result. It's a little doom and gloom outside today. Very dreary, but so here we are. I love this piece. I think this is the composition the way I want to be. I had it, I, you know, I painted it in the vertical, but I mean on the horizontal, but I really feel like it's going to be a much better piece going vertical. Bring you in here, show you the dried result. So cool. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it. So this is the dried result, like I showed you. Um, I'm kind of torn on how I want to have this to go in the direction, the orientation. Do I want it to go this way or vertical? I kind of like it vertical. That's really the way I intended for it to be. I had to make it horizontal, but I kind of like it going the vertical. Um, but it's definitely gonna get some gloss varnish on it, but that is really, really cool. It's really dark with a deep uh, green color and um, the uh, black base. So, but spinning out a large canvas was a lot of fun. Um, I definitely like this piece. I love abstract art. I love being able to swipe. That really gives just different sort of motion and feel to the piece. So I like this a lot. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate everybody watching my channel support. I really, really do thank you so much. Everyone have a great rest of the weekend, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.